Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not, not you know my dad walk on. There it is. <laughs> she back. Hey man, we up here in Las Vegas, Nevada, man. And uh, hey man, we we got some of our favorite people on the set today. I done had a good time. Hey we hey we did what we came to do. Yes, sir. Man, hey man, we got a very very special guest. And we, she heard today, but we met her at our mm -hmm. store, right? When she came with the with the bike. Supporting. Baby girl. Her best half. A.K.A. Denise Markham. What's going on? Hey, how are you guys? Man, I know already, you know, uh, when, I, when, when we first met, uh, I got the pictures. See? <laughs> See, I got the visuals. I keep all my visuals. And I was just happy to uh, really link with you. And uh, shout out to my boy Sage, you know what I'm saying, in the building. But at the end of the day, just uh, love the bike. But want to get down into the details of what even made you get into the game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so I know she liked to try to start this thing off right. Okay. Yeah, before we get into all of that, I need to know where you were born, where you were raised, all the stuff you went through to get you to where you are today. Okay. Oh, I was born and raised, um, I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. But okay. I was born in Wilmington, North Carolina. My, uh, my parents are from a really small town. My dad was from um, Wallace Rose Hill. Mm. So if y'all, Michael Jordan, y'all oh, always, yeah. oh. always think Wilmington. You, okay. He's from Ra Wallace Rose Hill. Okay. That's where Michael Jordan is from. Okay. And my mother was from um, Creedmoor, North Carolina. So really small towns in North Carolina. Okay. Mm -hmm. And were you raised both with your mom and dad together? Nope. My mother was a single parent. Um, the other siblings, my other siblings were raised by my dad, with my mom and dad. But um, she was she was quite She didn't want to let you go? She was quite the hell raiser. So oh. she held it down. <laughs> oh, okay. So were um, you involved in your dad's life at all? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not not as much, but yeah, I was. He was there. He was present. But my mom, she held it down. She took care of four kids. Sent us all to college. Wow. She was a real boss. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a good thing, man. When you got the right infrastructure, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, she Same. didn't play. And that's the whole game, you know. A lot of people don't know, man, the way it used to be. She's one of those parents. <laughs> the way it used to be. You gotta make your bed every day. <laughs> You got to iron the clothes iron. on Sunday, mm -hmm. uh, the last year for the week. You got to bring all your clothes out all for the whole week. That's dope, she man. She was strict. Uh, Church, whole nine. But don't that make you better? Stronger. That builds integrity. It does. That builds morals. That mm -hmm. builds character. character. Principles. Principles. Yes. We need more of that today in today's world that we live in. We don't in. have any morals mm -hmm. and no principles or values. That's right. Mm -hmm. But my question was, since um, you said your mom did all on her own and he wasn't really in, he was in and out. Did that affect you anyhow with, you know, things that you went through in the future? I had brothers and they were, go. so you my mother was older. Mm -hmm. So my brothers, or one particular brother was like my dad. Okay. So that's why I ride a motorcycle yeah, because him, he had to babysit me. Okay. And he had a motorcycle and I used to be strapped to the back of his motorcycle while my mom was at work. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, yeah. So, no, I had a dad. They they were father figures. They were leaders. Um, they had great jobs. and Okay. I, I didn't want for anything. So that's good. I didn't struggle, so I can't say, oh, I have this terrible story about growing up. I don't. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, and, and that's dope because yeah. at the end of the day, um, we need to show that black people mm -hmm. that they can make it, that they can do it. Yeah, you know, old school. We hear, yeah, yeah, the old school thing, real work. Mm -hmm. you, you might have to sing a few uh, church hymns while yeah. you're in the house. You know what I'm saying? You, mm -hmm. to Whoop keep his work. Whoop, Whoop his, his work. work. Yeah, yeah. switch. Yeah, oh, I mini switch. <laughs> You know, they had to switch, uh, 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 they had a switch design where they would take a little one and roll them together. Mm -mm, she slide it all the way to the end and leave like three leaves. Three leaves. Mm -hmm. So she can hear it whistle. Yeah. <laughs> and it'd be a little bit green. Yeah. So it'll, it'll tear what, them Yeah, it'll tear a little skin off. Uh -huh. So, see, nigga, you, yeah. know, you, you never got one? No, that's the belt. And uh uh, and, no, and, and no. Pick the phone up if you and want to. And it whelp up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I was whelp. I know I'm skin. I was line, line, You know that party line they got you. Some your neighbor might pick the phone up anyway if you're trying to call. You might you might think you got away and be still in trouble. You but most of the kids didn't do that though. Like, What's a real whooping? A real whooping is when you get out the shower and you whip. Oh man. 
That's See, they call that abuse now, but this is what yeah. we need. Our people <laughs> needed this. I think a lot of times, man, some of the children, some of the stories that we mm -hmm. see in today's society would be different if the school structure hadn't changed so much yeah. and if people really dealt with the children on a level to where they had to, you know, really stay focused enough to, you know, Understand what the kids is doing, right? Oh, these kids are out of control. Because they is in the room on the games. They ain't even outside no more. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? I remember when they made roller skates with metal wheels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Old school roller skates. Old yeah. school roller skates. Kids, kids don't go outside anymore. They don't do it. Mm -mm. And, and so, now, you being a woman in this bike game, uh, I want to know, are we okay to move into that? Yeah, because I, Cause yeah, go I ahead. Wanna, I want to talk I wanna know, <laughs> like, like, what gave you the drive to, to say, I want to do something with my bike that nobody else has done? And when did you buy your first bike? So. I want to go with, when did she buy the first bike first? Yes. Okay. So, I've been riding, like I said, because my, since mm -hmm. I was a kid. So, I always had a motorcycle. And, um. It never was just a regular motorcycle. So I worked and I was determined I was going to have the chrome wheels, the chrome frame. So I used to ride a sport bike before Harley's. Mm -hmm. So I'd have been through about eight, ten motorcycles. Dang. Yeah. So. so have you ever slid one? A little bit. A little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A little bit. Not enough to, to, to stop. What about these crazy drivers out here that pull out in front of cars? And I know you've heard Many of some them, um, horrific, yeah. thing, some crazy stuff that's not happen. It what, happened to me. And well, how it have to be none but God to keep you safe out there like that. You're right. So, so what? Give me a give me a, a, a situation where something happened that kind of you know shook you up a little bit, but God kept you going. Uh, I got two. Okay. I was riding a sport bike and I was showing off with some friends and I was going at least 100 miles per hour. Wow. And came through an intersection, but the light changed and gravel was on the ground. So when I started hitting the brakes and downshifting, it was sliding. And well, nothing but God, because the light changed for the oncoming tra uh, traffic and they stopped. And I was sliding through the intersection. Hmm. And then it straightened up and it let me go on through that. that it was like God held them. Go ahead on, fool, and let me through. And I made it. How that sounds like something in a movie. Yeah, but how much d does that change the way you think and the way you drive when you out there? You're young and dumb. So you was younger then. I was younger then, and I was dumb. I didn't have a, I didn't have a child, and I, I was dumb. So, and and did you stop after that and just think about wow, or you didn't even think about it how at the time? Been? Adrenaline Ooh, rushing. I made it. Whew. Mm -hmm. Boy, that girl good. Oh, oh no. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> no, I didn't think. Ooh, thank God. But I was like, ooh, thank God. Ooh. I mean, right, that's good. Yeah. Did they see that? Yeah, I wish they'd had video cameras. <laughs> that would have been something. <laughs> no, that's what. <laughs> that's right, why I no, said it no, sounds like right. something in a movie because yeah. I only see stuff like that in the movies. Mm -hmm. And and give me that other incident. I was in. This is when I had the Harley. Um, I was in um, St. Peter Baddest Bagger. Everybody hanging out riding. I'm in a roundabout minivan. Mom, we all supposed to flow like this. She went a whole another way and ran into me. Wow. Caught my leg between the, the wheel and her car. Yeah. And um, it was, thank God I had on some boots. Boots. And that's what saved my ankle. Wow. Mm. I had on some boots. And now, this bike that you have now, like I said, I want to know about the design of the bike. Big baby. Big mm. baby. I want to know about, because I've seen it. Mm -hmm. But I want to know about how you put it together and kind of how you, you know, orchestrated that bike. Okay, so... For years, I go to every bike rally there is, Myrtle okay. Beach and Daytona. So if you want to know what's trending, you go to Bike Week. So I go and um, you got to go to White Week to see what's new. Okay. So I'm at White Week, <laughs> I'm out there, and I know I want this body kit. So I chased this uh, particular guy down. His name is Scott Owens from Insane Asylum. Um, That's over 10 years ago. Wow. And um, now I'm sponsored by him. Wow. wow. So I bought two body kits and um, put the bike together. Well, I didn't put it together, I had a builder. So I knew she needed to be wide in the back and small in the middle, because I always had a girdle on and I was wide in the back. So I didn't I didn't know what it was gonna look, I knew what the body kit looked like, but I never knew the color or any of it. So the first time the bike was revealed, it was purple and gold, kind of like Omega. That wasn't what I asked for. So, but because I was a female on a bike and I, I'm the first, I had the spinning wheel. Okay. So the spinning wheel broke the internet. Uh, 
just because. And um, it just went from there. Like, I never had a regular bike. It was always custom. Something, it was always chrome. It always had a big wheel. Never had a small wheel. I never had a stock wheel. Wow. Oh, I had the stock wheel when I picked it up from the dealership. And then a couple weeks later, everything's changed. Wow. That's that's what I'm talking about, man. Like, for you to get that bike and, 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 and take the time you took with it. Mm-hmm. And, and how many times do you go up and... Men don't, you know, they get offended or in, insecure men because you come with the bike. All the time, every day. <laughs> she don't ride it. She can't ride she it. She can't drive that she, bike. She, yeah. And so what do you what do you think about it when you, because you used to it now, but you like, man, you know exactly it's hate because they don't, they, they, they don't want to let you live in that world because it's a male-driven world. Yeah. And, but you still continue to fight on. I tell them I got more miles backing up to the curb than y'all got going forward. And I do. Wow. So they have to respect it. Wow. I come from the set. I don't come from the custom world. Yeah. So the custom world is different. That's the world that I'm in now. So it's about how much money you have. I come from when you get respect from riding. So they have to respect me because of the years I have in the game. Wow. So it's not about how much money. It's about she ride. And you got to respect her. You don't have to like me, but you got to respect me. You putting them women in them baby girl t-shirts yet? I'm trying. You yes. better. I love to see women riding. I love I mean, it. If but, I can help them, I want to help them. Wanna... But don't slide by these t-shirts. Do you have a t-shirt brand or anything on? I do. We're big with women. We have our own t-shirts. We have lip gloss. Yeah. We have shea butter. Yeah, let's I plug have, it in. Yeah. I got to do it. Baby girl. Um, well, bigwithwomen.com. And then baby girl Florida TV. Wow. Mm-hmm. So... This Florida thing, man, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's it's something to where everybody's about, you know, speed, dunks, class, you know. Uh, is it something that 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 you knew, you seen growing up where everybody was a part of something? Or is it something that you feel like you drove your own lane to get to who, where you are? No, I was in a motorcycle club okay. for many years, for 10 years. And um, I walked away and moved to Florida. Okay. And... Um, I knew I was going to run it. So if you're familiar with Outlaw, when yeah. you claim the state, that means you run it. Yeah. So my name was always Baby Girl, except for it was QT, because the club that I was in was Queens Together. Okay. So I changed my name to Baby Girl Florida. Wow. Yeah. And and, and, and pretty much they had to respect it. They had to. When you see women riding bikes, because my wife, she likes to try. I'm, I want to ask you a question. Like, <laughs> like, when you see, you know, why do you like to bother me about motorcycles all the time? Because I love motorcycles. Nothing sexier than a woman on a bike. Right. Body. Wow. Mm-hmm. You love or in it. a fast car. Wow. She said it. She's right. Wow. Mm-hmm. So, and I was really not, when you came last time, I was not expecting that, you know. I expected the, the guy to roll up with the car, you know, maybe, or not even had a car, but you came with this bike. And it was a beautiful bike indeed. It is a beautiful bike. But I knew it was going to start messing with her again. <laughs> I had moved on past this. I'm you like, know girl, what I'm come on. <laughs> I had to move on past this. We did this probably 10 years ago. We've had these conversations. But now we right back. You you brought it back alive. Again. That's all right. And she's from Jamaica. Oh yeah. You know how many motorcycles in Jamaica? Exactly. Ooh, a lot. Everybody yeah. When I went over, I looked like everybody was motorcycle. driving by yeah. in them big bikes, <laughs> trying to get through traffic. Yeah. And they can't drive for nothing. But I ain't gonna go there. We not. That's not. This not that show. They got five lanes of bikes and two lanes. <laughs> two three lanes is really different. That's right. But boy, you hey, you show sure be having a good time over yeah. there when you go. They can show sure cook. So oh, yeah. When you. Okay, what's the next move for the for the bike game for you? I mean, you guys, do you have girls that, that ride with you? Or? I do. I just recruited um, a couple new girls. Okay. And um, anything other than stock is a big wheel. Okay. And, and then I always say no big wheel, no big deal. So you don't have to have a big wheel to ride with me. Okay. I just want to encourage and empower other women to ride. I don't want them to get hurt trying to ride a big wheel because I got a big wheel. Yeah. I want them to start off with a smaller wheel. And so it's, a, it's harder to ride that big wheel. It is. It is. What's, what hard. makes it, it harder? makes the bike heavier too. Yeah, it definitely makes the bike heavier. Heavy. But what makes it? What? Yeah. What make you have to know the you technique? Can't, you can't make the turns that everybody else make. You can't go to speeds that everybody else goes. You can't do what everybody. You are truly in your own lane doing your own thing. What's the fastest you can ride that bike? Seventy. That's still a good 
75 on a good day with the wind, strong wind behind you. So, but it's full of music. Yeah. It's not just the wheel. It's full of music, which makes it really heavy. Mm -hmm. So we get to a certain speed, they start to dance. So Yeah. But I'm the show. So well, I don't need to get there fast. Because you had a hell of a system on that thing. That's what Let's it talk is. about that for a minute. What type That's of a lot of money in that. Hell thing. yeah. Well, how, t break that down to me because I want to understand how you even get that type of system on a bike. Um, so my builders, uh, Dan from DK Electronics okay. in Florence, South Carolina, and I recently became sponsored by Euphoria Expert. So it's okay. full of Euphoria speakers. Um, they, it's basically a new sport. Okay. So they pack a bunch of speakers and music into a motorcycle, and you're looking for clarity, song choice, volume control, bass, bass with no rattle though. Okay, but doesn't that add more weight to it? Oh, yeah, she heavy. That's what I keep telling you, she heavy. <laughs> but the sound, how much would you say a system like that would cost? A lot. It's still a lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. No, so we're upwards 20, 30, 40. Wow. So there's classes like boxing, lightweight, middleweight, heavyweight, welterweight. So I'm considered a welterweight. Okay. So it's a lot of money, and um, we host these sound offs. Okay. So I have extreme class, and these guys have unlimited over 15, 20 speakers in a bike, and they sound like a concert rolling on two wheels. Ah, man. Man, the one thing I do know about it, man, like I said, that thing is nice, though. It ain't just got no, it ain't just got no speakers on it. You can't even really see no, that that can't. is there. Mm -hmm. but when I looked at it last, I was like, damn, where is that? You know what I'm yeah. saying? But you, but, but you hear it. Yeah. So my bags are sealed, so I have subs in the bag. Okay. And, um, so she's it's tucked away and it's clean and it's neat, so you can't tell. But it's different from when you saw me in Texas. Y'all change it up. Yeah. Change it up. Had a little situation. What? Give me the dirt. So. What had <laughs> happened? <laughs> I'm going to be real honest. First, I wasn't going to say anything, but um, I feel like other people can learn from it. Okay. Um, I don't know if you heard them say that um, they were having go. a... Uh, what was it? A, a muffler contest? Yeah. And you can get a uh, what was it? Factory pricing for one of those uh, Rams. It's like I'm gonna get Sage a truck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna see if I'm louder than this other bike. <laughs> so after I did it, they wanted me to go down the track. So my bike is on air. You know when you yeah. saw it sits really low to the ground. Yeah. So I was just sitting. Well, they asked me to shut it off and so to shut it off and to bring it down. I have to let the air out of it and yeah. sit on the ground. So then they told me to go down the track. Well, I shouldn't have went down the track, first of all, because I had no helmet on, yeah. jacket or anything, but I wasn't going fast. I rolled down the track, but it wasn't raised. And when I went to make the turn, mm. it wouldn't make the turn. So it fell over. Nothing major, I was fine. And when Safe. it fell over, uh, when it fell over, it cracked the whole front. Are you serious? Oh yeah, y'all were there. Well, I don't know, y'all no, maybe y'all didn't, no, didn't, didn't see, see it. it. No. So I hurried up and um, nobody knew, only, Sage knew and um, a couple people because the police said it on the mic on their little walkie talkies. But I yelled at the police officer so loud. He was like, you scared me. I was like, come pick up my bike. Come here, hurry up. Yeah. Because <laughs> I didn't want nobody, nobody to see, see it. it. <laughs> and when I came back around, we just flipped it around the other side. So you couldn't tell You couldn't tell it happened. And then I called another builder. I showed up, we had a show in Mississippi the next day. I showed up in Mississippi, turned it around so nobody knew, still let the kids sit on it. Play the music. Got back to South Carolina. I was like, we got to fix this fix because it. I got to go to Rick Ross show. And so what did you do? So I called the builder and I'm sponsored by the wheel company. I called the wheel company and I said, I got to remake Big Baby. So they said, okay, pick pick the wheel you want. I got to have that 34. No, that's the yeah. biggest they go. Yeah. So I got the 34, a sane asylum. So they said, you need Shout to, out to the sane asylum. A sane asylum, Scott Owens really hooked me up. He said, hey, she's got to have the Rehab 2.0, which are audio bags. We want her in the best bags. They sent the bags. Euphoria came in. They sent speakers. And we jumped into motion. They rebuilt that bike in 32 days. Damn. Sage That's had good a, stuff. Sage had a painter, Mr. Seeds, Gary Seeds. And, Shout out Gary Seeds. Yes, sir. And uh, Goose Creek. He painted my bike in two weeks. Mm. Wow. Two weeks. And... um they unveiled it at the Rick Ross show. I didn't know anything. I only knew what the wheel, because I picked the wheel. And the seat guy accidentally sent me a picture. Wasn't supposed to. Damn it. But that's it. But I didn't know anything else. So I saw the seat, and I was like, I don't like that. But then once he did all the other stuff, and I was like, oh, okay. So So when they revealed it at the Rick Ross show, how was that for you? Oh, I was tickled. 
I was worried at first. I was like, worried. Damn, oh my what God. is this like, gonna what be? What is this thing gonna look like? Yeah, yeah. Is my face gonna? Yeah. <laughs> is this gonna tell? Yeah. Is my face gonna tell something different? Mm-hmm. So I was worried. But I was worried. It ended up being something that you you were you were good with. Oh yes. Great yeah. with. I'm great. I'm happy with her. Wow. I'm happy with her. She baby girl, back at it once back again. Back at it. She big in the back. She thin in the waist. Big she baby. got a cute face. Big baby. Did Sage know? Did he see it before you did? He was the mastermind behind all of it. He was running back and forth. <laughs> yeah, he knew. I didn't know. He wouldn't tell. He he did it. See, he, he wouldn't have let them mess it up for you not to like it. He wanted me to know. And, you know, he was like, why would you do that? And I was like, I never know what it's going to look like. He was like, that don't make sense. Why Don't do that. <laughs> we we something else, man. Men, oh, we ain't trying. We want everything to be known. Yeah, you're supposed we to We don't want no want. problem. But y'all yeah. like suspense and all this other stuff. We trying to figure it out. No, I wanted a surprise. See what I'm saying? <laughs> he went back and forth. He made sure it was right. Why he do y'all act up. like this? This woman. Oh, yeah. Damn, I gotta I get wanted, sharp I wanted, on this. I wanted a surprise. I wanted it. Wow, that's crazy. So you get down there. Uh, do you drive it down there or is it just sitting in the show? Oh, I came through. Oh, no, they unveiled it. I rolled it. I came you through. jumped right on it. Oh, I had to stunt all the way. I'm the you only girl. I'm, a, I'm the only girl. That was. Excuse me, woman. The only one that was there that was doing it like that? Only woman on the motorcycle there. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. You killed the game. Killed the game. No matter how you look at it. With with pink and purple glitter. (laughs) (laughs) What the boy looking like? Yeah. Oh, Oh, she in the building. I came through. Came through. Mm -hmm. So, and and that was something else too, just to go down there. How long, what was that like being at that uh, Rick Ross, uh, you know, the, the whole setup? Just the show. His eye. His eye. <laughs> it could have been better. It was a little dusty there. Yeah, it was. I seen it on online mostly, but yeah. and I didn't get to go. But at the end of the day, I seen y'all, and like I said, when I see my people, I'm like, yeah, you know, I gotta stay tapped in no matter what. You know what I'm saying? See, women, see y'all will bake a cake. Yeah, we'll put the icing and the sprinkles on it. Correct. I tried to tell them. Let me help you with the bike part. And Cause the same y'all frame off and all that. I got the same I gotta frame off. Yeah. My frame not black. It's purple glitter. But oh, I, so you can do all the stuff that the cars can do. I got all the same money that those cars my one wheel costs what they spend for four. No. Ooh, stun on them. Y'all didn't hear that, did you? She said her one wheel. My one wheel costs more than what y'all paid for four. Yeah. That's heavy. That's him. Mm. And, and at the end of the day, they got to respect that. They do. They didn't give me no Cause money. Because money, money talk. Yeah, but that's because they probably uneducated. No, they know who's they knew. in it. They've seen So they were hating. Being. You can't. You ain't going to be in the dice and yeah. slice. They hating. Yeah, they give me a little bit of hate, but that's all. But that's good. Because okay. if ain't nobody, hey, you ain't, if you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. You ain't popping. <laughs> 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 well, man, hey, man, just we, we definitely thank you for coming on the show, man. N- give me your top... Um, Three bikes? No, top three, well, I would say riders. Top Female three. Okay. riders. Because okay. you know you don't have a lot. No, there's a lot of women. So the percentage is up to 42% of women really? that are buying Harley Davidson. Yes, yes, ma'am. Well, so, who's the top three riders? Like, you got, you um, know who that is? So Portia. To Portia, her? Portia Taylor from Black Girls Ride. Okay. And, and where, does she, where is she out of? She used to be out of New York. I think she's out here. I think she's in California on the West Coast now. Okay. okay. But um, she's sponsored um, by Indian. Okay. And, um, there's another girl. She's back in North Carolina. Her name is Too Tough. Too she, Tough. Too Tough. I like that name. <laughs> she comes from Ebony Angel. She's one of the first. She's one of the first female uh, motorcycle clubs. Wow. And when I say this, she can ride. She so, can ride. Yeah. I, I grew up and I rode with some of the best women to do it. And wow. We came together and they threw some of the best events. There, there's ever. You know. Before you say number three, who is, what woman started this? Do you even know the name of the Bessie, person? Br- Bessie Springfield. She started it. Bessie what year? Springfield. Mm-hmm. So now everybody does the Bessie Springfield ride. Wow. Yeah. What year She's, did she start? Now I don't know the year. <laughs> <laughs> long time ago. Yeah, long, long time ago. <laughs> I'm just, well, I was just curious you know, to know I was how long say, ago. Before my time. Heck yeah, before my time. This <laughs> is so curious. I, yeah. Because I can imagine it's the awesome stress story. she went through. Do you know the story? 
I don't know all the story, but it's basically kind of like the Harriet Tubman of motorcycles. Wow. It's really? impossible for ladies to be out there and ride. She went she when nobody else a, was going. Yeah, she used to sleep on a motorcycle, and she went. She toured the world. That's heavy. That's I can it. imagine, because a lot of men would have, back then, would have definitely be teasing oh, yeah, and be ridiculing. Black to. woman. Yeah. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. heavy. That's dope, man. I need to look her up. Say the name one more time. Betsy Springfield. Betsy I'm Springfield. Mm-hmm. Okay, and, and and that that number three is that you? It's me. Hey, <laughs> stop, stop you. playing. You just knew that. Yeah, didn't I, you? I know because I know she wasn't gonna leave herself out because she bad. See, when you bad, you got to definitely put. If you don't think it, who gonna think it? Sure. Yeah. So, so you got to ride a long time. Exactly. You put time. that work in. Yeah. That's yeah. the you most important thing. You put that work in. So and what's next for you? Um, is retirement anywhere down the line? No. Um, I do a show every year in Daytona at the Hard Rock in mm-hmm. March and October. So mm-hmm. I'm preparing for Bike Week. Uh, Fashion Flash is coming. So I host the sound off there. So no, I'm not getting ready to retire. That's next 20 years? How oh, old yeah. do you intend to still be doing this professionally? I can't run no more. Hell yeah. Mm. yeah. Then I'm going to get an extra wheel. I don't want to, but then I'm going <laughs> to get a strike. Yeah. Get an extra wheel. Yeah. Man, hey, but man. But for right now, I'm going to ride them too. Ride till the wheels fall off. Till the wheels fall off. Let's so stop playing yeah. on Boss don't Talk One on One, man. <laughs> Say, baby girl in this thing. Y'all better understand and recognize, man. Y'all, How can people get a hold of you if they're trying to get a T-shirt? Where can they get it? How can we do this? Baby girl underscore Florida, Facebook, Instagram. TikTok and uh, Big Will Women is my organization. Man, hold love. Say, man, um, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. I can't wait till you start riding. Hey, man, like I said, now we better shut this thing down. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. She right. <laughs>